Hi there, this is Shashank and today I am going to show how can you root your Sony Xperia M. Now as Sony Xperia M have a very little internal storage, there could be problem for you for installing heavy apps and games and this will help you to install multiple heavy apps or games at once. It's a pretty easy uh, stuff to do and um, here I'm going to show what you have to do first of all you have to download a app called Framer Root of the link which I have given in my description it's an APK file after downloading it install it in your phone and uh, after installing um, just launch it after launching it uh, you have to um, select install super user and then you have to select Gandalf mode. Uh, make sure that you select Gandalf mode only because that's the only mode which works on XPGM. And choosing the other mode may break your device. Now this will take some time. and here will be the message success super user uh, binary install you have to reboot your device after which the device will be rebooted itself And now the device has been rebooted. Um, if we can go, you can see the um, super user, and um, you can see that um, the super user now have the option for, you know, um, for the rooting privileges. And um, now let's see. Now if you have to install the games and apps into your SD card, um, you have to install a utility known as GL2SD which you will find in uh, the Play Store. Just search for something called GL2SD and you can install it as I would be installing now. So I think it's installed, yes, it is written successfully installed and here is uh, the shortcut. After that it will ask, the super user will ask the request to allow this um, app to access the root privileges which you will allow it and after that click OK. Now first of all it will itself ask to move the things like the app itself which you can uh, you can also move the some other things also now if you will install any game or something um, I'll see if I have any setup or something with me Now as I have the OBB installed already, so that's why these are there, but um, uh, when you will open your SD card, you will find this data and OBB folder, and in which I know you uh, know how to install it. Uh, first of all, you have to install the APK, then you have to copy the data in OBB folders. So for example, if I will install, um, I don't know, let's install that trigger. Done. Now open GL2SD. 
here you can find the dead trigger now before you can launch any app make sure that you mount it here's the icon for mount and it's for unmount so if we have to play any game or application you first of all have to mount it so that um, it can create a different partition into your internal storage now it's mounted now let's launch it and see if it works it will take first uh, for the first time it can take some time to load the games but um, um, after that uh, I think it would be fine plus the game performance or the app performance will depend on which class of SD card you have um, I'm using a class 10 SD card so I would not face any problem in playing games through my SD card but uh, you may um, you know have some problem or lag if you have a low class SD card and if I can also run the game I will show that the game would be running perfectly um, here I'm going to run this the first level to show you guys that yes you can run the game from your SD card and here you can see the game is running fine um, I can't see any lag as I already told you about the SD card and there were few lags but as I told you you will only see these lags at the starting and you have also seen my gameplay video um, so after you play it for the first time um, after that you won't find any lag and now you see the game is running perfectly so uh, that's I want. Uh, that's all I want to tell you. Now, after you uh, play the game, uh, make sure to unmount it, and then just simply close your app. Now, I need to tell you some things uh, before you proceed. Make sure you have at least sixty percent of uh, battery recharged before routing it's always safe I mean it's not necessary but it's always safe to keep precautions also I already told you that you should have at least a good class SD card to play the game without any lag so anyway guys I hope this video will help you and if you like it rate comment and subscribe